Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Here, Fred, come on, boy. You want to go today, huh? Old Frederick, he gets to go today. We're doing a little water hunt, a farm pond hunt with the farmer today. Should be pretty good. But today, as well as hunting with the farmer today, we're using the cheapest duck call I could find at Walmart. This is a little Primo's $9.99 special. Yeah, a duck call that only costs $9.99. I have never blown one of these calls. I'm sure a lot of you have. Uh, I've never bought one, never blown one. So I have no idea how it works. But we're going to put it to the test on a little farm pond today. I'm excited about this. Do something a little different. You guys have requested it. So I appreciate all your video suggestions down below. A lot of you guys are like, hey, Bobby, cheapest cheapest duck hunting decoys on Amazon. Cheapest duck call. Go use it. We want to see how it works. I appreciate the comments down below. But real quick, check out that new duck's old school camo hat. Isn't that bad boy just sweet? And the Bottomland Camo Ducks hoodie. I will link both of these products down in the description below if you want to pick one up. You guys know when you guys pick up something from Ducks Waterfowl, it goes directly to supporting the channel and helping me bring you guys more of these videos. But, like I said, enough blabbing. Uh, got to wake up late today. It's actually 5.30. Uh, I don't have to be there until about 6.30. Shooting lights 7.19. So yeah, got to sleep in a little bit. I love hunting at home. If y'all are excited for Bobby's Kansas home hunts firing up, Smash the thumbs up button right now. I greatly appreciate it because I'm glad to be hunting at home. Fred. <clears throat> Fred's barking up a storm in the back. Walmart. Cheapest Walmart duck call challenge. Ooh, looks like the cheapest call you can get at Walmart. <laughs> $9.99 special, baby. Oof. Fred! <laughs> God, he's going nuts, nuts isn't he? Crack this bad boy open. I've never blown one. What is he doing? He's going nuts. Wants to play. Look at this thing. Which it may not be bad. I used to sport a Walmart duck call for a lot of years. Let's see what she sounds like. <laughs> Little raspy. <laughs> To say the least, yeah. <laughs> I was like, <sighs> well, it's a single read for it one. That don't sound too bad. That was a whole lot better. <laughs> that actually don't sound too bad. It's better than what I thought it would sound like. I had to take my voice out of it. Okay. I had to take my voice out of it and just use pure, just small air. <laughs> Doesn't take much air. <laughs> well, I think that'll work. <laughs> I might keep this on my lanyard, dude. <laughs> well, I hope you guys can see something. Here they come. Oh. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Shoot him. Yeah, I got that mallard on oh, this side. Good. Yes. Dude. Yeah, buddy. Woo. I got dude, two. I got two, too. Nice. We got four ducks, dude. Four ducks already. Load up. Load up. Dude, I shot through this tree. Here comes a duck right here, right here, right here. Right here. He comes over the top. Shoot him. Bang on him. Bang on him. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Nice! That's yep, a that's, woody, right? Yeah, that's a woody. Yeah! I couldn't tell if it was a woody or a widgeon. Here! I think it's a hen. Well, we better uh, start quacking with the... with the... Oh, God, look. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Sit. 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 Go. Oh, oh. I shot a shell. Ah, oh, I shot one. I only had two. Well, I shot one. <laughs> I only had two shells in. Woo! Shoot. Oh. Holy smokes, haven't killed the GoPro yet. I hope you all can see. Well, we're trying to pick up birds. We got ducks working still. It's gonna literally have to, here they come, here they come, get down. Shoot them. <laughs> oh, 
Dude, where? That was a buster, dude! <laughs> Woo! If you guys are liking this video, y'all, we're about to be limited out. I, I'm actually, I think I'm limited out. I'm done. That was my sixth bird. I'm limited out. I'm done. I am limited out. That's six birds for me. Holy smokes. I hope that you can see my face. It is 725. Yeah, it has been shooting light for six minutes and I am limited out. Oh my. If that don't deserve a thumbs up, guys, come on, smash a thumbs up for me. I hope that you can see my face. It's literally so dark still. Me and Fred are headed out to go find my mallard and a couple other ducks. That was crazy, Frederick. Oh my word. Another widgeon? Are you limited out? Yeah, I'm done. He's done too. Me and we are both done. We're limited six minute limit y'all no joke that was insane we got to find our birds here holy ducks landing right there oh man that was insane here fred dead bird fred where's he at holy smokes look at the gadwall jordan shot what's well, a stud dude for early i am super impressed with dude that that's a mounter i that's, mean that's that's a good looking bird he's solid yeah he's not messed up bad either that's a beaut we've been sitting here guys trying to we've been trying to find all of our birds here we finally found them all and while doing that we've had probably three groups of ducks completely oh. decoy and land when we weren't here the wind is screaming like 22 mile an hour it's probably gusting 30 mile an hour to be quite honest and the birds when they get down in this little farm pond hole i mean they get down fast they don't circle on you they spin in here and they go whoop. but here's the spread uh, i got some teal and wood duck floaters off to the left we just strung them in front we didn't throw them out very far we got one two mojos the wind is basically over our right shoulder it's perfect jordan while I was parking the trailer, he built our makeshift little blind here. Survival tactic at its best. Oh, you yeah. should be bear grills out <laughs> here. <laughs> got too much hair for bear. Yeah, true. But if you guys are liking this video, like I said, you got to smash the thumbs up button for me, Jordan, and old Frederick. He's done great. You've been swimming your butt off trying to find them birds, buddy. It's been a good one. Little update on the tongue situation. Uh, it's actually almost healed. It almost has completely healed in like two to three days still waiting on the biopsy results so everybody keep your fingers crossed hope it's good news what do you think dude huh that vest i'm telling you what he hasn't shivered one time today he is loving the vest i can tell you right now it's been a lifesaver but i wanted to show you guys the pile i wanted to uh, close the video down here in the pond before we get out because the wind has picked up it is screaming it is hauling i mean they said it was supposed to be a 22 mile an hour wind it's probably a 32 mile an hour wind but here we go two man limit today boys and our piles are pretty much identical i got a hen gaddy got some widgeon two hen widgeon two drake widgeon and then a drake woody look at this guy i'm really contemplating on getting that bad boy mounted. I have never mounted a Woody, and uh, I think he looks pretty darn good, to be honest. Should I mount him? Let me know down below. I know a lot of you guys kill a lot of wood ducks, uh, a lot more than me. I want a nice one. He's the nicest one I've ever shot. Drop a comment down below. Should I mount him up? Our piles are pretty much identical. The only difference is you got, you have two hen... Uh, widgeon? Widgeon. That's what I was looking for. You have two hen widgeon, and I have three. Oh. That's the only difference. Oh, and my gadwall's a drake. Check out Jordan's pile though. He has him a nice Drake Woody as well. He got kind of demolished in the head though. But this Gadwall, this stud, stud Gadwall, y'all. Look at him. Woof. That's a beaut. First one I've ever shot. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome morning. We did not expect this outcome. Uh, I honestly figured that me and Jordan were going to shoot a handful of birds. Uh, Andy, like I said, was supposed to be here. I was like, we might shoot 10 birds total with three guys. 
Turns out, two guys, we limited in 10 minutes, pretty much. But, uh, scratch the limit. What a morning. But, like I was saying, as far as the Walmart cheapest duck call challenge, y'all, on the last set of birds, I did quack at them a little bit. There's echoing down here. There's, there's a lot of echoing going on down here. So, the calling that I did, when they were far away, it helped. But trying to call ducks down in here while they're actually out front down in the hole, it wasn't a good idea, no matter what duck call you're using. So, did the Walmart duck call work? Absolutely. If you guys are on a budget, go to Walmart. Get you a cheap duck call. They work. I've shot tons of ducks with cheap calls. Don't think, just because your buddies go spend $100, $50 on a call, don't think you have to do it too. I'm telling you. If you're, it's all about where you're at, just like today. Scouting the birds, being at the right spot where they want to be is way more important than to what type of uh, duck call you're actually using. But like I said at the beginning of the video, that new Ducks old school camo hat is available. I will link that bad boy down in the description below. I appreciate it when you guys pick something up. It helps me bring you guys more of these videos. Also, if you haven't, you need to subscribe to Jordan's YouTube channel. Do it. He does a lot of homesteading, a lot of backyard farming, a lot of pheasant farming, stuff like that. I'll link his channel down in the description as well. But if you guys like this video, smash a thumbs up for your boy. Hit that notification bell down there. My notification squad, big shout out to you guys. You guys are always coming through right when I upload. Well, I didn't want to just drop the video there. A six minute limit results in a really, really short video. But on a past video, I had mentioned that I wanted to breast and cook a goose from the last little Kansas honker hunt we all did. So I want to cook it differently than I ever have. So not only did I breast it, but I plucked the entire breast before I breasted it. So all the fat layer is still on the breast. Let's just go inside. I will show you what all I got going on. Basically, long story short, I don't want to get too intricate with today's cook portion of the video. I left the fat layer on the goose breast and we're gonna make goose honker, that is. Fajitas, taco seasoned fajitas, baby. So this is what we got going on. I got my honker breast and as you can see, I made slices not all the way through it, Basically, I didn't have a meat tenderizer, so I went ahead and made like my slices halfway through just where I'll be slicing it later for our fajita chunks. And right here, I got some taco seasoning already made up. And right here, I got our old frying pan. But like I was saying, I left the fat layer on it, y'all. Kind of messed up on this side, but there we go. Pluck the entire breast. Got to make sure all the feathers are off. Every little single hair on that bad boy. So what I think I'm going to do, I really don't want to get a lot of taco seasoning on the fat because what I was told is to cook with the fat layer down. 90% of the time you should be cooking with the fat layer down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pre-season the other side of it, the meat, basically the tenderized side. Get some taco seasoning up in there before we slap it in the pan here. Well, our pan is definitely hot. There we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, fat layer down. Whoops, Bob. Turn her over. I never pretended to be. <laughs> I don't claim to be the best cook ever. But fat layer down. We got some yummy taco seasoning on the bottom, as you can tell. Now, this goose breast is about the equivalent of a pound of hamburger. So, I don't know how we're going to incorporate the last bit of the taco seasoning. I think we're going to cook this about 50%, 60% of the way through maybe, and then cut it all the way through in slices once the fat is completely cooked, and then add the taco seasoning into the pan. Kind of like you would browning hamburger with the taco seasoning, you know what I mean? Well, we're cooking, started getting a little dry, so I added a little bit of seasoning just to keep the bottom side of that fat moist. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It might turn out horrible, I have no idea. but. I did hear when you cook it fat side down 90% is those fat juices soak up through there, cook up through the meat I guess, and I guess it's a lot better. It's still, uh, the rule of thumb is still don't thoroughly cook it. You gotta leave it like medium rare-ish. Pink. Pretty pink, you know what I mean? Well, had to add some more 
taco seasoning in here and I turned it over that fat sides really cooking quick well had to pull my meat off and clean the pan because it was completely coated and burned and it was just bad but the goose meat it's cooked about halfway almost halfway through most of it ish you know what I mean still red now I'm heating up my pan I'm gonna throw it and all the rest of the taco seasoning I might have to make a little more actually in the pan put it on about medium let it sizzle and cook boom 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 there we go oh yeah put the rest of our taco seasoning in there well we are making progress they're pretty much done just a couple more minutes look how they really got bigger though now that I'm frying them and all that taco seasoning they've really like ballooned up and become a lot bigger so when they're done, I'm going to have to put them down. I have to slice them thinner. Well, they are done. I just uh, sliced them into thinner slices. Look at that. Mm, like I thought. A little chewy. But pretty darn good. Want to try it? There you go, buddy. I'll enjoy that one. Here we go. Here's our fajitas, though. We've got the meat laid out. Sour cream cheese. All we got to do is add a little bit of lettuce. Oh boy. Mmm. They're a little tough and a little dry. So I had to add me a thick line of salsa. Sit. What man? Do you want more? Look at him. He won't leave me alone now. Is that some good stuff? Bottoms up. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, Fred. Let's go potty. Come on. Well, I am full. Boy, howdy, that was a good little fajita there. Just a little different way to cook honker. If you've never left the fat on it, get crazy with it. Try some different stuff, you know? But that's going to do it for today's video. The Pigeon Loft, y'all have been asking to see it. I'll have a video coming up soon, don't you worry. We'll be taking a look inside the loft and see what all's going on in there. But subscribe if you haven't. We're coming at you guys with waterfowl hunting videos all season long. I'm glad y'all are here. I hope y'all have a wonderful duck hunting season to come. But until next time. Woo!